very special guest with us, Ozzy Osbourne. And I'm going to let Ozzy introduce the lady who is on his right. Ozzy? This is my wife, Sharon. This is Sharon's first time ever on American television, and we're very pleased to have you both here. Tell me, Ozzy, what brings you and Sharon into Hollywood? Well, we're just preparing our, our uh, uh, 1984 American tour, which starts in Portland on Monday next week. And that's when we're in the Los Angeles just to sort of get the final preparations together for it, you know. How big a tour is this? Eight months. In America? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yes. How, I want to ask you, I, Sharon is uh, Ozzy's manager. How much does it cost to start up a new tour? This particular tour is probably the most expensive tour Ozzy has ever done. It's costing us in the region of $500,000 just to get it out on the road. Isn't that lovely? Where are you and Sharon? Oh, and the baby, right? Yeah. Where are you living? We're living it. We've got a house in England, but we're, you know, we're currently in America. You know, should baby want to come down the road with us, of course, but we'll see when we can. We've got a nanny with us now. Oh, so where's the baby going to be during the tour? The baby is going to be in England at school. She's going to be getting ready for Prince William because she's going to marry him. <laughs> Prince William. Hours. God, is that painful? No, you should have one. Ah! I bet it's very painful. It is actually, it's very painful, but I like pain. Oh, you do? Why? <laughs> I don't know, it's, I like getting tattooed. You do? How many tattoos do you have? I've lost count. You have? I've got them all over the place. You Hello, Sharon. <laughs> I'm here. He does. Well, you certainly have a lot of loyal fans. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's been a lot of fun. It's, you know, since I've started out on my own after living Black Sabbath, it was a bit of a difficult task to take on in the beginning, but no, it's, it couldn't be better, you know, right? Well, haven't there been several offshoots from Black Sabbath that have been successful? Really? Yeah, sure, it's, yeah. It's, it's just amazing that Ronnie Dio took over from Ozzy. While Ronnie was in Sabbath, Ozzy's career took off, and Ronnie left and his career has taken off. And uh, everybody's still going, Sabbath is still going, Ronnie and Ozzy, you know? Is there a, a, a part of your as an entertainer that is unfulfilled? I don't know really because I've never really had time to sort of sit down and think well I'd like to do this I'd like to do a lot of things but with the time I, I put into rock and roll I haven't never got the time to sort of sit down and say okay I want to do a bit of an acting job or you know it takes time and, and if I ever did get into anything like acting I'd like to do it properly you know go to a proper school and learn how to do it pro you know, professionally. Well you had you and Sharon had say, uh, said that you possibly would, would move over to Hollywood is that part and parcel with maybe a little bit of a career change or direction? I don't he know. Just likes America, Diane. Uh, hey. Why? Because why? It's fun. people America. like to live here. People like to have fun. It's rock and roll where it all started from, you know. England's very sort of, it's my country and I love it as a country, but it's getting very depressing all the time. There's always, always people, you know, not very, you don't see very many smiling faces around and people enjoying it. Diane, he likes it here because the bars are open all night. That's oh. right.